see claims management these are the points again not in the order whichever it is to be uh, claims resources when we talk of resources skilled manpower is a very essential thing we need to have uh, for handling claims it is it is not that uh, anyone can come and write off any claim uh, though there are set of rules set by the insurer and also by the hospitals we need to follow their packages the protocols all these things required skilled manpower that's one thing billing processes these are as you all know it's not standard at all every hospital has their own billing practices and if you take the geography of the state of karnataka it is so huge that every hospital has their own billing pattern so standardization of billing pattern is very essential there timely settlement of claims what alam was telling uh, so uplift they're not going for cashless the idea is right but when you come to micro insurance they don't have that money up front to pay so you definitely have to utilize cashless facility if the provider has to come into the contract with the tpa or the insurance company the settlement the tag for settlement should be much lower shortfall of documents we are talking of electronic claims rsbi is a different model but if it you are talking of ssvni document is an essential part of it without the hard copies from the hospital which is sealed and signed no claim is settled there is a pre audit which happens there are auditors sitting from the trust who oversee the job done by the tpa only then it goes for payment then it goes to a sub committee where it is cleared so documentation shortfall is delaying the process of claim settlement even after so many years hospitals don't send the bill which is numbered the patient name would be missing and they have standard uh, discharge summaries they just alter the name age sex of the patient for normal delivery it is a standard discharge summary and they don't change that and they make claims such documents delay the settlement process and uh, as i told there are two audits happening one is a concurrent audit 100% audit is done by the trust auditors later since it's public money and uh, in the government domain cag audit can happen any day so we need to keep those documents at least for 3 years that's what uh, cg says transaction cost uh, i'll i'll deal it in detail in the next slide see this is a model we are following currently for hsvni previously it was only the pre authorization which was electronic the other part was not now we have gone one step ahead and even introduced the claims to be processed or submitted online see here we have an hospital which sends a pre authorization request to the tpa all this is electronic they feed in basic data like uh, the patient details uh, where he comes from which society what is his enrollment date what is the disease he suffering from what is the line of treatment all that stuff and all the support documents will be scanned and attached in form of a pdf document it will be a single file it will be attached and the claim comes to the tpa we process it and send back the approval and very specific thing about hsvni is it is it covers only surgical costs no medical benefits are covered very few medical benefits like uh, snake bite or nicu care are covered otherwise it's all surgical cost and there is no cap on length of stay so this processing is much easier here once we send back the approval they give the treatment and here again if there is any shortfall of document say the date is manipulated in the card or the present complaints are not matching with the diagnosis or the line of treatment we call back for the relevant information if if it is not right we deny those claims pre at the pre authorization level then we go to the claims management here what happens is on the same period say the system pops out a number once period is submitted the same number is retained for the claim also when it comes to the claim stage what extra documents they add is the final bill and the post op discharge summary and the post op investigations with that the claim is submitted online once the claim is submitted we validate the claim and keep it ready for payment on receipt of the hard copies we move it to the sub committee or the trust to make payments once the once the funds are made available we have a payment cycle which makes fund transfer online and again there the problem is we have around 475 hospitals in the network 
not all have their accounts with nationalized bank where we can do EFTs. They are having uh, accounts with uh, cooperative banks or uh, local banks where we can't do this transfer. For such hospitals, we still have the process of sending DDs.